All right, hello and welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea. I'm your host. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm going to be doing a love reading <clears throat> for the sign of Aries. So <laughs> let's get started. This is going to be for November 19th, 2020. Um, this could be going on now, previously, in the future. <clears throat> so let's just take a look. I dripped a little coffee on my chin. I hope you guys are doing well and are safe and are healthy because I had to take a pause yesterday, a long pause. Because <clears throat> I just wasn't feeling right. Like I had a tickle in my throat, not COVID. Okay, and I get a nasal drip. Um, my sinuses are bad. Um, so, anyways, let's not even say that word on this this channel. <clears throat> but yeah, sometimes you know. And the day before, I had did like ten readings, and that really zaps your energy too. So I don't know if you're into tarot or anything like that. It, it's just so beneficial to have the necessities around you to keep your energy protected. Um, I use my gemstones. Um, this is black obsidian here. This is good for that kind of, you know, stuff. Somebody draining your energy, any toxic energy around you. I have this all over my house. I use my Florida water that clears the energy if I don't have sage, which I always have sage, even if it's little pieces, I have it. Um, I have all my crystals right there. But yeah, so it's so important right now, especially in the times that we're living in, to keep your energy high because when it gets low, you're susceptible. 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 You are more likely <clears throat> to be able to contract things, diseases, depression, um, just sickness, you know? So if you're ever feeling like you just need to take a pause, oh, look at that when I said that. <laughs> you ever feel like you just need to take a pause, take a break, do it, listen to your body. Nothing is more in health, nothing is more important than your health because if you're not around, then whatever you're trying to do is not going to get done anyway. So that's just a message I just wanted to put out there. I don't know why it just came to me. I don't know. So anyways, let's get into this love reading. I'm using <clears throat> the Modern Witch Tarot. I love this deck. It's a little big for my hands, but I love it. I don't know. Aries, while I'm shuffling these cards, I, I don't think it's the coffee because I've been drinking coffee, but I'm just getting this energy of excitement. And it's like a, an expectancy kind of excitement. Like, like, I don't know if there's something that has not come yet, but it's like you should be in an energy of expecting it because it's coming. I don't know. I just feel <clears throat> really excited. I don't know. Maybe I got enough rest. I don't know. One more time. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. Holy Spirit, Spirit, God, and angels, please allow a clear message of love for the Aries that are watching. Please allow me to give them a clear message for that resonates with the Aries that are watching. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, what is going on in love for Aries? Too many cards. What is going on in love for Aries? What is going on in love? <clears throat> the nine of cups okay that is see that's why i said something good coming i don't know if it's here or you're expecting it or you're making a wish of um you know some sort of wish fulfillment you're making a wish that's really gonna fill your cups <clears throat> but look at her she's like expecting this she's like i know my cups are getting filled and that's kind of like what i'm feeling so <clears throat> maybe might, somebody might be making you an offer of commitment that's going to turn into marriage. Okay. That's really beautiful. <clears throat> Let's see. What is in the cross to this? That's another reason to keep your energy up because things could be right there. They could just be 
right there, but they can't come in because you're in an energy of lack. You're in an energy of not, not expecting anything or not expecting anything good to happen. So, <clears throat> and then so, or you could be fearing something to happen. Um, we have the moon card here. This is talking about deep emotions, hidden fears. Um, I really feel like whatever it is, you don't have anything to be worried about. And if you are worrying, you should stop because it could be delaying these this nine of cups from coming in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, that's that drip. If you guys hear me do that, it's so gross. Um, but that's that nasal drip that I have. And I'm sitting under this vent. It's not a great combination. What is Aries focus on? <clears throat> There's too many cards. What is the Aries focusing on here now? two cards here mm, yeah so there is wish fulfillment coming in for you guys all right there's a message here um <clears throat> exactly what i said is what's happening here for someone it's on the precipice it's here this love this fulfillment is coming but I feel like you are really deep in some dark, actually, emotions here of feeling like, and this kind of resonates with the general, the daily reading, like <clears throat> you're fearing that your fears are going to come true, pretty much. And being in those, like, maybe it's like, am I going to be alone? Am I da -da 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 -da? And you're focusing, what you're focusing on is heartbreak past heartbreak um hurt hurt and pain and which is causing you to feel stuck um but you know what you have to turn this into a positive because heartbreak is a positive if you were not able to feel that hurt and pain you wouldn't know how good love really felt right and that's sometimes why this hurts so much um, but sticking around in this energy, waiting here in this energy is not going to serve you any good at all. And it's definitely not going to let this wish fulfillment come in. So spirit is telling you, you need to try to look at this heartbreak situation a little differently than you are. It's not serving you. So that's why you're at a standstill right now. That's why you're taking a pause um, <clears throat> in your love life. Because you need to take a look around at the things that to be grateful for. You need to look around at what, you know, get into that loving energy. You know what I did the other day? I, I watched The Notebook. And if that's not a love movie, I don't know what is. But something, it just came to me. I don't know if I saw a post on Facebook or something about The Notebook. And it just popped out at me. And I was, well, no, you know what it was? Somebody said, they had posted something and said, it was like 12 movies. And it was like which one of these and it showed a whole bunch of different famous couples from different movies like love and basketball the notebook titanic forrest gump and it said <clears throat> which which person loved their girl the most and whatever you know everybody has their own opinions but the notebook popped out at me and i was like hmm that might be a sign i need to watch that movie and i mean i forgot how good that movie made me feel and like used to make me feel but before when i was like yearning and wanting love i used to it used to be like dang man i wish i had that but now that i'm making myself get into an energy of expectancy because i am single i said wow i say love like that does exist you have to tell yourself that that love like that exists it's not running out it's not in shortage okay whatever you believe you will manifest so you have to believe that there is love out there that exists and it exists for you okay because i feel like as soon as you let go of this we have the tower at the bottom it's going to come in and it's going to take you by surprise spirit is telling you it is time for you to leave these emotions behind them okay so let's see what happened to you in the past obviously you were heartbroken right <clears throat> yeah in the past you had somebody coming around trying to romance you but with this night energy um, they were in and out of your life and they probably could have caused this heartache. Okay. Because anything that's inconsistent is going to lead to lead to heartache, heart and pain. <clears throat> um, what is crowning you? 
Yeah, so right now you're kind of defensive. You're on the defense. And when you're on the defense, you are going to block love, okay? That's what's going on here. You could be even getting offers, but maybe they're not good enough. Or maybe you're defensive to the person who is in the past. And I got to tell you this. You have to, whoever hurt you in the past with this three of swords, you have to find a way to forgive them, one, um, and love them, not in love with them, not be in a relationship with them, but you have to find a way to send that past person who hurt you love. Because when you do that, when you send them love, you're asking the universe to send you love back, not from them, but from someone else. If you harbor these ill emotions to the past people who hurt you, all you're doing is staying connected to that hurt and pain. And it's just going to keep you stuck. It's just going to keep you stuck. See, you're ice cold right now. Ice cold, single, hurt. You have your guard up very high, you know. Ugh. It's, it's okay. But look, <clears throat> you got a king of pinnacles coming in here. This is someone, right, who's very secure, very stable. He is not a knight, okay? Maybe taking a little bit of time to come in. Somebody who's a businessman, but he is a man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He is, because um, I was going to say something else about this other person. He knows what he wants, okay? He makes sound investments in business and in love. If this person is coming towards you, male or female, it doesn't have to be a man, but if this person is coming to, is, do y'all see that fly? Is that my spirit guide? Could you go, please, right now? Unless you're my spirit guide. If you see... <clears throat> When this person comes into your life, they're going to bring you a sense of security, I feel, that you've never had before. Um, a sense of security, like, as in not necessarily finances. Could be, could be very well off. Um, I see that. I see that. But more importantly, this is somebody who doesn't make you second guess when they're coming, when they're going, if they're going to come, if they're going to go. Like this Knight of Cups, this person comes in to love bomb you romance you dip even look even the horse looked like he up to something you know what i'm saying it's just not you can't rely on that but this person here is reliable very reliable okay who knows how to give good gifts you know this good gifts of love giving and receiving balance into your life let's see when your emotion what's in your emotions aries look at that celebrating this could be a reconciliation um <clears throat> Not feeling that, not feeling that actually, but I feel like you're going to have something to celebrate, okay? If you're not feeling like this now, you should start feeling like this because I feel like something is coming in. What was in that position? No, it was the Ten of Pentacles. Um, something is coming in and it's going to make you very happy, okay? It's going to make you very happy and it's going to make you feel like celebrating, okay? So let's see what is in your environment. Mm. We got two cards here. Yes. We got the Six of Cups. So I feel like I'm going to put this one back, but we got the Page of Wands here and the Six of Cups. Somebody is going to be coming in to offer you some sort of <clears throat> passionate, they're going to be sending you a message. And it's going to be very flirtatious, passionate, friendly, like, hey, I want to get to know you. Can I take you out? And their intentions are going to be very good with the Six of Cups, okay? This is somebody who really wants to share love with you and I feel like they're going to be putting an end to this cycle that is very burdensome for you that is that with the cycle that has you on the defense up here this is a soulmate you have a soulmate surrounding you okay you have a soulmate surrounding you I'm going to clarify could be a water sign so so far we have water here Pisces <clears throat> Uh, Pisces, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, a lot of Pisces here. We have fire. Not so much fire, but we do have fire energy here. And yeah, water and, 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 and um, some earth. Okay, so let's see. All right, so you're hoping for some sort of communication, right? You're ready to get this show on the road. Okay, you're ready for this to start up. You could even be a little impatient, um, but you're hoping for some sort of passionate communication. Maybe you know this person. This could be somebody from the past, you know, if I'm speaking to somebody because now I see the Three of Cups. 
can talk about reconciliation. Six of Cups can talk about somebody from the past. So if it is, and you're being hopeful, and maybe that's what you're wishing for, maybe that past person is not so bad. You know what I'm saying? Not all the time past people are bad. Sometimes people just have to break up to really find themselves and go through that soul journey that and they come back a better person so i'm not writing off anybody from the past okay sometimes it just didn't work out because th that wasn't your time <clears throat> let's see <clears throat> and i'm going to clarify and see if it's a past person but what is um the outcome in the love department what is the outcome for aries and love what is the outcome? All right. So there is an offer. <clears throat> Page of Cups. So somebody will be sending you a message of communication, communicating with you, flirting, maybe asking you out on a date. Okay. Could be an apology as well. They want to come in and make something right. But this is like, and it could have been something that ended. This could be very well a past person. Because something did end in the past and you had to move away from it because it was not serving you at all. Okay, there was lessons learned here. But that's up for you to decide. I can't tell you whether to take the past person. Like, I just know anybody in my past. <clears throat> X-nay. Um, A-nay. I don't know Pig Latin anymore. I used to know Pig Latin when I was a kid. Okay, <clears throat> let's clarify here. So Aries, the main energy here is you feeling like you want some wish fulfillment. You're making wish, you want dreams to come through. You're, you're asking for it, but you're just not in the energy of receiving it just at the moment. Will it come in? Yes, it's going to come in, but you're not in the energy of receiving it. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. How are we doing on time? All right. So what is this nine of cups? Ten of pentacles. You are hoping and wishing for a long-term commitment here. Even maybe to pop out some babies here with the empress and the queen of pentacles. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that's beautiful. Who isn't? Okay. I mean, not everybody is, but... If you're watching this video, you are. You're hoping and wishing for this long-term commitment, something very stable. And I feel like this energy, all this energy is coming towards you, okay? If not yet, you're in it. So let's see what the challenge really is here with the moon. You are fearing that you do not want to be left out in the cold anymore. Maybe that you are, you know subconsciously you're not yet over something that really hurt you in the past. And I feel like you know it. You know it, you know it, you know it, you know it. And that's kind of what you, you want to work on releasing this, okay? The five of pentacles did come out in the, the reverse. <clears throat> and you just don't want that energy anymore of feeling like you get the short end of the stick. Three of swords in the hangman. Somebody could be trying to come back in to apologize for the hurt and pain that you, you they put you through. Um, even make you a little offer. It's not worth it, though. You know, I feel like anybody who could do this to you, because, yeah, look that we have the eight of swords and then the three of swords. <clears throat> you're you're getting out of this energy. It's it's not even beneficial to look back at it. OK, it's not even beneficial because I feel like you've gone through your healing and you're doing what you need to do. Should you be so defensive? Maybe not. But I don't think you need to really look back at the past any more than you already have. Let's see what the <clears throat> what is the Knight of Cups? Yeah, the Knight of Cups is a past person. This is somebody that you have already released. Um, somebody who probably came back quite a lot, okay? There was lessons to learn here. Um, there was a judgment made on this situation already, and I feel like you have let it go. Now, could they come back? Absolutely. People love to come back. Look, this person here was a narcissist. They tricked you. They hurt you. They deceived you. They told you half-truths. 
You know, there was just no good intentions. It was only self-serving energy. Could they come back? Yes. People love to come back when they see you happy, okay? Um, <clears throat> block them if you don't already. I feel like you do have them blocked. Um, but don't let them block your blessings. Seven of Wands here. Seven of Wands, yeah. <clears throat> there could have been, yeah. I feel like you're trying to block this person who is coming back. That could be who you're defensive to. But you're hoping for new love. Somebody is coming in trying to offer you something and you know it's not sincere. They are confusing you. They are trying to juggle. But they're offering you this Ace of Cups because they don't want you to move forward with this King of Pentacles. Who is this King of Pentacles here? Mm, okay, Aries, look at that. This King of Pentacles is your mate here coming in. Look at that, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody, or this could be described, both of these energies could be describing the new person. So they are passionate. They have some sort of fire in their chart or just in their belly for you, okay? I mean, but the most important thing is that they're showing up as a king and queen energy. This is somebody mature. This is somebody who has is very secure. Um, they know what they want, okay? And I love this. Like, I just see here, if you can see that with my laptop, this king is looking down at this queen, and this queen is looking straight ahead. And she's looking straight ahead because she knows her worth. She knows who she is. She knows she's sexy. She knows she's ambitious. She knows she has it going on. And he knows it. So that is so, I just, oof, I get really good energy from that. So somebody's coming here to make you an offer. It's that soulmate. Look at that. Six of cups, two of cups, could even be an emperor. Okay. That is beautiful. You have new love coming in. Okay, there's just an old person here who is not happy about it. What is the three of cups here? Oh, look at that. This is marriage. You are ready to get married. I feel like you know it could be coming soon also. That's why you're in the energy. Maybe you're in the energy of preparing. Maybe you're in the energy of manifesting this, okay? Um, and I, I mean, obviously this can't resonate for everyone, but for the person who I'm speaking to, I know you know what you want, right? With the nine of cups and the 10 of pentacles, you know what you want. You want a long-term commitment. You're tired of feeling left out in the cold. You're tired of getting your heart broken. You don't even want to be defensive, but that's just the energy that you're in because of somebody in the past, but you do have something new coming in. Let's see what the six of, excuse me, six of cups is. Hmm beautiful card because it just is so beautiful all right <clears throat> so worry no more okay um you're a little stressed out somebody could have you stressed out or this could be the person around you who is probably in the same energy as you mirroring you but here with the six of cups this is somebody who is going to bring peace, balance, harmony. This is a divinely guided soulmate that is coming towards you. This might as well be the lovers here for me because this person is going to be patient. They're going to be kind. They're going to be understanding. They're really going to be understanding to your situation, I feel like, okay? Um, they, I, they could be mirroring you. They could have went through something themselves, so they really just know what you're going through, but they're going to restore that peace and harmony and balance in your life and tell you like look you don't even have to worry about this anymore this person is definitely coming okay could be a cancer but i just feel like this is the energy of forward movement um they're coming towards you you're going towards them the offer is going to be solid you know there's a queen of pentacles and this person's going to put you on a pedestal right they're going to treat you like the empress the queen of wands all of that that you are so that's really beautiful <clears throat> let's see with the eight of wands you're hoping that you don't miss this communication you're hoping that it's not another missed opportunity i don't feel like it will be but you know i'm hoping fearing that's what that is Page of Cups. <laughs> That's why I use different decks. 
Page of Cups is clarified by the Page of Cups. It's new love. There's new love coming in, okay? Going to make you feel very abundant here. Let's clarify one more time. Awesome. So the Page of Cups and the Page of Cups is clarified, clarified by the um, Wheel of Fortune. There's no reason to be stressed out. There's no reason to be anxious. The wheel is turning in your favor. This meeting with this person, whoever this King of Pentacles is, is fated. Okay? It's destined. It's, you know, it's written in the stars. It's going to happen. So if you're hoping for it and longing for it, I mean, you can desire it. You know, but don't feel like it's not going to come because it is going to come. You feeling like it's not going to come could possibly delay the situation. <clears throat> Look at that. The three of swords is what just flipped off on the floor. I think that spirit is saying you need to get rid of this energy of being heartbroken. You need to move away um, from these emotions that do not serve you anymore. See the ten of um, wands here at the bottom of the deck. It's time to drop these wands here. This person here is going to come in unexpectedly. They may be taking their precious old time, but they are going to come in ex unexpectedly here, okay? Um, you're not going to know. You know what I'm saying? It could be a blind date. You could meet them somewhere. I know now with COVID, it's kind of like, you know, it's not realistically just going to run into them anywhere, but anything can happen, right? Let me clarify with the romance angels what's going on here spirit with aries mm -hmm. Mm -mm. And it fell right on top of the three of swords. It is time to release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. You have to vibrationally, and I just got chills when I started saying this. You have to vibrationally make room for this new person. Every time you catch yourself thinking about someone from the past and someone hurting you, you have to instantly say, that chapter has ended. Something new is coming for me. You have to release this. Look at that at the bottom. Free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. You cannot let this person who hurts you control you anymore. Even if they're not in the picture, they're still controlling your emotions. So they still have full control over you. Even if you haven't seen them for months. Okay. <clears throat> Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And the, look at that. This fell over here. I was just going to say, because I said this is like the lovers. Um, no, 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 I didn't say that. But this is like the lovers here to me. Okay. This is a divinely guided um, situation that's coming in for you. This is a spiritual connection. You guys are going to be, this is a spiritual connection i couldn't say it any other way it's a spiritual connection that's coming in for you i feel like you guys are going to have the same belief system um you're going to be on the same wavelength the same energy it's, it's going to be good it's going to be great it's going to be good <laughs> so anyways um chemistry beautiful chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here Somebody, like you guys are pulling each other towards you vibrationally. And I feel that very strongly. Like I said, I feel like this person, you and this person, you guys are mirroring each other. Um, there could be children involved. Your life is being affected by children. Give, um, you know, so give your, your relationship a chance and worth waiting for. You can't be too heavily guarded. You know, that's what I'm really feeling here. You can't be too heavily guarded because you could possibly, um, I'm not saying that you're going to block them forever, but you could delay them. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. One more card. Mm -hmm. 
the power of love oracle deck let's see one card spirit one card two i knew it was gonna be two i was like why is it give me two <clears throat> we have harmony you are able to feel a loving balanced connection with everything and present you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current situations so this is what is going on here you have to be able to be when you're in this moment when you're in the present moment you can't be in the past it's actually impossible to be living in the past so you have to remind yourself to find beauty in the present moment always because that's what's going to help you attract new love at the bottom of the deck, we have elevation. You are elevating, okay? Your love life is ascending to new heights. You just have to believe it, okay? You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love because that is what is going to bring in this new person. So I have hit the 30-minute mark, which I wasn't trying to do. That is what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Really, I really do. Thank you again to um, all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you. I love it so much. Um, I will be coming out with um we'll be offering personal readings very soon um yes um just trying to grow this new channel that i have so much love for aries and everything that you guys are going through um i know it's been rough cycle over the last um few years so i hope that i can bring light and love and laughter into your lives and you know watch you guys grow with me so that's what I have for you today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.